Hey guys, it's Coach Kelly and Murphy here. Say hi, Murphy. Say hi. Uh, we wanted to show you guys, as we're kicking off the whole 30, what we get um, on a weekly basis, typically, depending on what's in season, at the farmer's market. So you can see our bounty here. We spent about $45. Um, that includes one, two, three, four squashes, winter squashes, spaghetti squash, winter squash, acorn squash, butternut squash. Um, we have a sugar pumpkin here that we'll carve up and bake and use for our own pumpkin puree. A boatload of carrots. Um, we're gonna be making a lot of chilies and stew this week, so wanted to make sure we had enough carrots. Got a nice collection of shallots here, uh, two giant artichokes, a couple of great tomatoes, and a lot of zucchini. I personally really like to make uh, zoodles or zucchini noodles they are really tasty um, and then we have a collection of small um, cauliflower heads and a lot of times we go back and forth between small cauliflower heads and big giant ones but I find that these ones are easier to make cauliflower mash with or uh, like cauliflower rice peel off um, they're easier to blend in the food processor um, I find that bigger ones you get bigger chunks and it's harder to to utilize um, a couple other things that we have here. So we normally go to get our produce at the farmer's market and then we go to Whole Foods and get our meat for the day or the week. So we have shrimp, a giant thing of grass-fed ground beef. There was a sale at Whole Foods today so we scored three pounds of this. And then um, a pork shoulder, pork butt. Uh, for a roast in the slow cooker. And I think that's about it for now. Oh, and then uh, packets of chicken thighs. We like to make chicken thighs for a lot of slow cooker things. And uh, we're making pad thai with that spaghetti squash, um, which is really yummy. I know that we were telling you guys about well fed. We want you to pick this up. There's also make it ahead paleo for people who love to have um, you know, slow cooker recipes. There's a ton of stuff that you can make in this cookbook that you can freeze. It's pretty good. Um, and then really our keys to success for the Whole30 is planning ahead. So as you can tell, it's Sunday. Um, and so we're trying to figure out what we're going to be eating for the rest of the week. Um, we have this nifty thing. It's by uh, knockknockstuff.com. It's literally what to eat calendar that we have posted on our fridge. We list out what we're going to um, have for the week. And a lot of times, as you can see, our breakfast and lunches are kind of bare, but breakfast for us are bacon, eggs, avocados, berries, a lot of clean things. Um, I'm going to be making a porridge with coconut milk and some nuts um, and a banana. And then lunches for us are a lot of leftovers, so you have to embrace the leftovers if you want to really enjoy the whole 30. Um, there's other things, Murphy's. Getting excited. There's a lot of fun and exciting things and we encourage all of you to post in our Facebook group about uh, recipes, things that you've been experiencing, um, good or bad, um, on our page. We're, we're curious to hear how you guys are all doing and again we're excited to see um, all the benefits that you guys are going to be experiencing in the next 30 days. Am I boring you? Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Bye.